Hi my friends, today we model this part. You see, it has some interesting features. This is the drawing. You see here a shaft with 12 diameter and also 12 here on the groove. This uh, part is number 26 from my collection of 100 mechanical parts. New empty document. Take a look of this uh, workbench and select CAD, not Bender, because we create uh, mechanical parts. Let's start new sketch in the xy plane then we draw a polyline starting from here to the right up left down left up left and back to the center point. Now diameters of uh, 12 divided by 2 and also 12 divided by 2. This is not vertical. We apply perpendicular or vertical and the dimension of 0 0.9. Length this is 200 and here is two millimeters and another dimension is this length of 25 from here to the center point 25 fully constrained close revolve we have to select the axis x is the axis okay good we see chamfers of one at 45 to both ends and we also see fillets of radius 0 4 let's apply this we select this edge, keep press the control key on the keyboard and select also the other end. Then chamfer one at 45 at both ends. The same are this edge and again Keep press the control key on the keyboard to apply a fillet of 0 0.4 millimeters. You see here the result. Now we see these two holes 4.8 and 4. 1613 is this one and 45 is the other but they are with this uh, end of bore so that we have to place twice the first hole and the second hole this face for a new sketch the sketch is a simple 
circle without a dimension, close, hole, diameter of 4 millimeters, and the depth is 113. Okay, once again, select this face, apply sketch, a simple circle without dimension, this one, close and hole. What is the diameter? Four. 0.8 what is the depth 45 okay next is uh, this channel you see radius 2 depth of 2 and of course 4 millimeters new sketch this plane we project to lines or circles And we draw a circle in the air with diameter of 4. We place it on the same horizontal with this and placed at a distance of 54 from the end 54 close pocket you see here something symmetric and through all the part okay then these two holes Diameter of 2 at 26, 2.5 at uh, twice 54 distance. They are not uh, through. To do this, we use uh, this uh, datum plane. We go here to select the plane, x, y, then we have to place this up. The diameter is 12, yes, 12 divided by 2 is the placement. Now the plane is tangent to the part. We use this to create a new sketch with a circle diameter of 2. We project again this end line but I have to hide the datum plane and now I can select uh, this to place the dimension of 26 from this and to here 
26 then we apply the same horizontal of the center with the center point close and we apply the tool hole on two millimeters with a depth of 12 divided by 2 this hole is uh, not uh, through yes Once again, we make visible the Dayton plane. We select it, we apply new sketch, we hide the Dayton plane and we place a circle somewhere with a diameter of 2.5. the distance from the end but I have to project that end that uh, distance is fifty four multiplied by two On the same horizontal are the center with a center point. The diameter, the dimension here is not <laughs> important, but nothing is uh, wrong. Close, hole, diameter of 2.5 once again and the depth of 12 divided by 2 okay now the groove you see this is the distance between the two points these two points one two on the circle of 11 that distance is 0 0.576 and there are three 30 grooves the angle is 60 and there is a radius here of fillet Let's create this uh, groove with a length of uh, one millimeter before this 25. Okay, we turn back the part, we select this face for a new sketch, then we create a polyline this this mmm for that fillet then up and back to the start equal are these two lines on the same vertical is this point with the center point we project this 
circle we apply tangent of this to the circle the angle of 60 the radius of 0 0.1 And now we draw uh, an arc with this center and being so. Trim to cut these two ends. The distance now of uh, a zero point five zero point five seven six okay and the diameter or radius for that circle which is 11 divided by 2 11 divided by 2 we have a green color here and we make this construction close now <laughs> we apply pocket pocket for this uh, cut on a length of uh, 25 minus 1 25 minus 1 okay good you see now what is the nice cut to apply uh, pattern here circular pattern we have to select this last feature and we apply polar pattern of uh, 30 not 2 but 30 instances okay you see now how nice does this look good that's all for today thanks for watching bye bye